I'm Janet Ingle. I would like to talk about oboe reed making today. Maybe you're an oboist who has not really started making your own reeds yet, and you're completely at the mercy of your teacher or of whoever you're ordering reeds from, um, and sometimes you get to the gig, you get to your rehearsal or your concert, and you find that your reed is not up to the task and you don't know what to do. That's a problem. Let's say that you're an oboist who has started making reeds, just a little bit, um, but you're still not really self-sufficient and you don't know what to do uh, or how to get yourself to that place over the hump of like playing on your own reeds. That's also a tricky place to be in, right? And let's even further speculate that you're an oboist who can make your own reeds and you can wind them up and you can scrape them and you can make them play and you're playing your reeds, but they take you like four hours to make or days sometimes of careful, careful scraping and adjusting and fixing. And who's got time for that? Um, I love making reeds. I do it all the time. I do it fast. I love teaching. I do that all the time too. And for the last, I don't know, six or eight summers, I've been doing oboe reed boot camp. It's a 12 hour course, uh, over, spread over two days. And this year is gonna take place in South Bend, Indiana on August 5th and 6th over at beautiful St. Mary's College. I've got a beautiful room, sunlit and lovely with lots of nice big tables. Um, and the concept is we get a whole bunch of oboe players together in a room and everyone works on reed making. Um, last year I had a table full of raw beginners as well as a table full of more advanced players, uh, more advanced reed makers, I should say. And while I was working with the beginners, the advanced players were working with each other and sharing tips and strategies and tricks. When I got back together with them, I shared in the tips and the strategies and the tricks as well. And everybody left camp more able to make reads than they were before, more equipped to solve problems, um, more accurate with their basic construction, um, more ready to give up on a read that wasn't working and to immediately like spend their time on something that would work, which I think is really important. Like no one has unlimited time. Another of the great features of Reed Bootcamp is that I supply all of the cane. Um, so sometimes when you're working at home, you m are very aware of the fact that each of these pieces of cane cost you $3 or $4 or $5 to uh, procure, and you're just like wasting money as you sit there scraping. So maybe you're spending an awful lot of time on a reed that really isn't destined to be a reed, just because you're almost out of cane and like the, the dollar signs are flashing in your eyes. Um, but at Reed Boot Camp, you can go ahead and wreck a bunch if that's what it takes to figure out what you're doing. You can wind one up and say, you know, what happens if I make the tip too short? Because I've been thinking about shortening my tips. Let's see what happens. And you can experiment without uh, fear, which is a really, really nice thing, I think. Um, I've got all sorts of information about this camp, this day camp, uh, up at my website, which is JanetIngle.com. I would love to see some of you there because I think that I can help you to become faster and more efficient reed makers and to improve the results that you're getting and the consistency that you're getting. Plus, we have a good time. So again, um, this day camp is happening August 5th and 6th this year, Saturday and Sunday in South Bend, Indiana. I've got lots of information up on my website at jennadingle.com. And I would love to hear from you if you have any questions or if you would like to enroll. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.